Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're going to move this trim panel right here, use a trim tool. We sell these at 1AAuto.com. Just get in behind here. Pry this out, use some clips. This one happened to stay in there. There's the other one. I'm going to take this clip out before it gets lost. Just use some needle nose pliers. And we can reinstall it on here. Just push it on. So I'm just going to push it on this bench, push it down, just like that. Next is a cover right here. I'm going to take a flat blade screwdriver and just pop this cover off. There's two Phillips head screws right there. I'll take those out with a Phillips head screwdriver. Pull the handle out of your way a little bit and get this screw out as well. Over here, there's a little cover. Under here, just get your screwdriver under the cover, peel it up. It's just rubber. Another Phillips head screw. Take this one out. Over here, there's a little cover. Take your flat blade screwdriver and pry underneath it. Pull it out of your way. And if you look up in there, there's a Phillips head screw. Take this one out. And under here is one more cover. Put this one off. There's a Phillips head screw right here. Take this one out. We're going to use a trim tool and go underneath here. And just pop off the door panel and go all the way around. Pop in the door pins. like that. Once this is all loose, you can lift up on the door panel, pull it back. I'm going to pop this inner door handle assembly in. I'll just take my trim tool, grab under here. There's some clips that hold it in. Just pop these up like this, just like that. That can stay like that for now. I just spun the door panel so that we can see this electrical connector. There is a little tab on here, right there. So we push down on that and release the connector. I'm going to take these Phillips head screws out. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. There's eight screws in total. All those. We'll use a Phillips head screwdriver. these screws out for this bracket. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver. And we'll take these four screws out for this bracket. And then pull this bracket off as well. I'm going to hold this handle with this hand while I'm I'm going to be pushing it down while I get in here with a straight head screwdriver. I'm going to push all these tabs down, pull this handle through, and then do the same over here. Push these little tabs down. I should be able to pull that out. Then I need to release all these locks under here. Just use a straight head screwdriver. Release those locks. And we can pull this out. I'm 
We're gonna reinstall this on the door panel. I'm just gonna slide it in like this. On the back side, we're gonna pop these tabs in. Just push down, lock that in. Make sure all these holes line up. Now we're gonna line this handle on. All right, line this bracket up like that. And then this one goes back here. Get all these screws started. Once you get those all lined up, we'll snug these down. All right, now we're gonna install all these screws that go into the armrest. And we'll tighten up all these screws. Sometimes you'll have one of these clips stay in the door and we need to put it back in the door panel. Um, we have this clip remover tool um, you can get these at 1aauto.com. You do is slide it on all the way, and then you just pop it out. All right, we'll reinstall this clip. Slide it in here. Just push it on like that. And we'll reattach our master window switch electrical connector. Just plug it in the back here until it locks in place. And we'll take the inner door handle. We're gonna line it up with the inside of the panel. Just like this. And once that's on, slide the top part of the door panel in first into the window channel. like that. And we'll make sure our door panel is lined up with our pins. It's lined up, then we can start pushing it on. We'll install these two screws here. Install the screw right here. Tighten that down. We can push this cover on. Install the screw right here. Then we'll pop this cover on. And install the screw right here. And we can pop this cover on this way. Just like that. And then this little one goes right here. Gets locked in right there. And then line these retainers up, lock it in. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.